My money, my body, now your own. It's a real battle. Hello, everyone. I am here with the owner of Six Pack Africa. His name is Clement. Can you tell us more about yourself and your company? Sure. Hey, everyone. My name is Clement Ogudirafor. I'm the one of the founders of Six Pack Africa, and we are an online fitness brand and business. It was focused on. Um, uh, health, nutrition, and uh, basically excellence within the uh, African community. And that's not just for people from Africa, but obviously all dark-skinned people around the world. So oh, wow, that's how thing. awesome. And how long have you been a part of this company? Uh, we started in, I say we, it was really just me. Oh. But, <laughs> but, but okay, I, had, I had some mm -hmm. extra what? partners too, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we started back in January of 2016. Wow, so, nice. Yeah, I've been going strong for a while now, and it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And fun. so, has fitness been something that has always been a part of your lifestyle, or yeah. were you an athlete at some point? Yeah, like so growing up, mm -hmm. I played soccer, that was my main sport, I still play it today, mm -hmm. but I think for me, you know, funny story, or yeah, funny story, so my fitness journey really started like in seventh grade, mm -hmm. I couldn't get girls, so I started mm -hmm. doing push-ups and sit-ups, and like literally that's how I started mm -hmm. working out, and um, after I stopped playing soccer competitively in high school, I knew I needed to stay in shape, so that's when I got into the gym. And back then it was all about, you know, just how big can you get and uh -huh. how much can you lift. But it was really 2012 when I started really taking fitness and then also nutrition seriously. Mm -hmm. And then um, a few years later I started the company and kind of here we go. Nice. So, yeah. And so when did um, you helping people, were you helping friends and family before? Yeah, so for a long time people would just ask me a bunch of questions mm -hmm. and I would give them sort of the same advice and you mm -hmm. know new people would ask me questions I'd have to give them advice as well and then I decided well all this research and knowledge that I've been into for the last decade let mm -hmm. me just put it in one place write it down Absolutely. you know take my pictures or whatever take my videos and put it in place so that people can stop asking me I can refer them to the website mm -hmm. and that's really what sixpackafrica.com is about so there's a blog on there with a bunch of fitness information a bunch of nutrition stuff and a lot of it is like the trial and error of what I've experienced mm -hmm. to get to this point yeah nice mm -hmm. and so so is it true that they when they say um, 80% nutrition and 20% uh, fitness is yeah do you That's, agree with that? I totally agree with it. Yeah, like you can work out till you're blue in the face, but unless you're Michael Phelps and you're swimming, you mm -hmm. know, three or four hours every morning or whatever, what determines what your body looks like is far more nutrition than it is fitness. Wow. So, and then beyond that, you know, part part of the reason we do this obviously is for vanity, right? Like we mm -hmm. want to be attractive. Mm -hmm. But there's another part of like being healthy and being Absolutely. around for your kids and your grandkids Absolutely. and like just not having to. Uh, uh, run into some of the easily preventable problems that people mm -hmm. run into like diabetes and things yes. like that so mm -hmm. yeah. well I needed that information because I struggle with eating well because I love food you guys oh, all know I, I love food I can't even tell, so but, mm. but I love working out though so I try to have the balance yeah yeah, so. yeah. and then what about cheat meals how do you feel about cheat meals do we yeah. eat them or no yeah, you know, you need to get to a point where you don't need them, and then you should feel good about having it. But if you mm -hmm. feel like you need it, then you're probably going to cheat more often than you need mm -hmm. to cheat, and then you're going to backslide, right? So yeah. definitely, uh, it's something that I engage in. I've, Sundays is kind of my day for that. But uh, yeah, I, I'm a, I have a sweet tooth, so I do desserts and stuff. I know, mm -hmm. you, I know I shouldn't, but it's something that if you are disciplined with the rest of your meal, and then you're also disciplined with your workouts, cheat meals are fine. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so is there any advice that you can give someone who wants to start up a business like you mm -hmm. and just don't they don't know where to start? Sure, sure. Uh, I guess two pieces of advice. One, there's nothing to it but to do it. You just have to start one day. I, I remember I was thinking about this for weeks and then a friend of mine just told me, Clement, just post a picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like literally I just went to my Instagram, post a picture and that was the beginning. Like there was wow. no announcement, there was no anything. I just started and then mm -hmm. we just built it from there. Um, so that's one, and then two is, um, uh, I lost it, anyway, so, okay, <laughs> but, no, no, but yeah, just definitely, oh, the other thing I would say, and this is just a general piece of advice is, mm -hmm. you know, you might be scared about the idea of starting a business or how do I start or how do I take that leap, but you have to remember that, um, you are the only one that has to deal with the consequences consequences of the decisions you make in your life. So you might be like embarrassed or afraid of what are people going to think if I do this and I fail. But mm -hmm. you have to remember that like those people, they have their own problems to deal with. And so they're not thinking about you when they're going to bed. They're thinking about themselves. And you need to be thinking about yourself because at the end of the day, like 
if you have a job that you're dissatisfied with and you really have something in your heart to start a business, it's you that has to go to sleep every night with the consequences of not taking that action and wondering about it, right? So put yourself at ease, put your mind at ease and go and try it. And this is America. So we have you know, a culture of entrepreneurship here. Yeah. And if you fail, there's no shame absolutely. in failing, right? Like if anything, you get credit because you tried in the yes. first place. So yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Thank you so much, Kumi. It was yeah. truly a pleasure hearing your story. Thank I you. really, really just want to thank you so much yeah. for coming out. Thanks for having me. Having the time. Thank you.